Hello everyone, welcome to the Adoran region. I am your host, Adoran himself. This is part two and or the finale, the official answer to Can You Beat Mario Golf Advanced Tour at level one. If you want to check out part one, it's available in the cards, in the description, in the pinned comment if I remember to do that part. Uh, or you can just check this out if you just want to find the answer to the question. So, this is the game, this is the situation. We have beaten the main storyline. It is now time for the post game. And the post game consists of two different things for singles and doubles golf. For singles and doubles, we have to win the mushroom tourney. This takes us out of our own element. We get isekai'd into the world of Mario, quite literally in front of Peach's Castle. Everybody here in their Mario Kart-like uh, calmness has decided to have a temporary truce to play golf, because that's how society works these days. Uh, we talk, apparently there's this brand new mushroom tourney freshly revamped, and this is the first time they're gonna go through the course. So, with Mario jumping in, let's jump in along with them. Hole number one here, part three, as I did in the first video, I'll show the first hole, the last hole, and some interesting ones. Interesting, you're gonna see a lot of those. You can see, first off, this obviously being more difficult, is gonna have high winds, 18 mile per hour winds here. This is a birdie, this is a good play. You're gonna see future holes that are a little bit more complicated here. Let's jump to hole six. I hate this hole. That's right, I'm just coming out and saying it. This is a 20 mile per hour wind par three, 166 yardage. Look at the shot. I think it's great. It bounces right off the green, out of bounds. Not a great, not a great situation here. Second shot, we're already behind at this point. We've lost a stroke. This is our third stroke officially. Gets us into the rough. Our next shot, I gotta pray that this somehow doesn't fly backwards. You'll notice the ball literally stops and does go backwards because of the wind and eventually have to settle for a double bogey here, putting us in 11th place. Jump over to hole number 11 now, par 3, 181, 16 mile per hour wind backwards here. This is actually one of the gooder ones. Uh, there's a little bit of a fast track here. You'll notice all of these are really interesting looking courses as well. And if you want to check out as we do the chip in, the full playthrough with everything uncut and see all of the different holes that should be available on the backup channel or in the description slash card somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, jump over to hole 14, par 5, 440, 459 yardage. Here is 60 mile per hour win. That's a poor first shot, just doesn't get over it. And now I've got to try to like swerve around to see if I can make this up. Uh, so get to land here because we don't have the ability to get really far. Backspin us to keep us on the rough. Our next shot here, hopefully can get a little bit of distance here. Perfect play right there as I uh, pat myself on the back. Go for this uh, par four. We should be able to get par on this shot here, a backspin. Puts that right in place there, a little backspin to add a little bit of a, a distance there. Par shot here, this is gonna be smooth sailing, all good. Oh wait, I edged the hole, it's a bogey. This course is annoying. <laughs> hole 16, another uh, specific hole that I despise tremendously because the hole has decided to be in the middle of the Amazon River. Uh, strategy at this point, I'm already at one power. There goes that power, which means hole 17 and 18 are gonna have to be done without the ability to use a power shot, which makes distance basically impossible. As you can see right here, I would have I would have liked to use it, but I don't actually have the distance to get to that next location, meaning I've gotta go here. But the issue with this is that I don't have enough distance to properly get up there, because I know this is gonna bounce off and fall into the water, meaning I'll take the water stroke and then end up getting placed where I'm going to end up anyway. So an auto shot here, just trying to get into the vicinity of this area, fourth stroke, Maybe we'll get a little bit of chip in lunk, as you know, the chip in king here that I am. Maybe this is gonna be good. Nope, I pin shot my way. If it was two millimeters to the right, it would have been perfect. Instead, I pin shot myself getting the bogey here, jump over straight to hole 17, and we'll show the last couple of holes here. Hole 17, a par four, 411 yard hole with a nine mile per hour wind going forward, north, I suppose, uh, which is good. This is what we want. We want the winds to go up, because if the winds go up, that means that we can take advantage of it. Uh, this is another situation where we just don't have the ability, the distance needed to be able to go through these. If you thought the previous, if you thought the Lynx tourney was tough from the previous video, this is tough. Third stroke here, just trying to get in the vicinity, hopefully keep this on par or able to. This is a hill that the hole is basically slanted sideways at this point. It's somehow on the side of a hill and we're able to get par on this one, meaning we're one stroke behind on hole 18. Mario in first place. We need to not only get at least one stroke, we need to gain one stroke on this hole over Mario. He's likely to get at least par, meaning that we've got to take full advantage of this. Hole 18, a par five, over 400 yards itself, an 11 mile per hour wind going away from the hole because this course wants to be even more difficult to me and no ability to use power shots. Means that we got to take this path here where I backspin, try to swerve in between the trees. It somehow is able to work. Uh, yeah, I'm going through a tree right now, but like 
there's a way that we can spin it around and still be successful with it, take advantage of the wind perhaps. I'm basically just trying to edge this so that it goes right by the tree, the wind. I thought for a second it was going to go flying off into the, the ether that is the out of bounds area, but we're successful there. Backspin over on this shot here, get a little bit closer, get par on this one. Can we gain a stroke? Can Mario get a bogey? And it he, he didn't, meaning we lost. For the first time of this challenge, we have officially lost. Does that mean I gave up? You can see the fact that the video continues. I did not. We're going through this again. If you'll notice, it switches over sometimes going to the... Why did I go for... I don't know why I did that. Uh, it, it like zooms into the front tees and goes to the back tees. Unlike in all of the other challenges, I didn't go through this through the story mode. You can access these from the main menu. So the one side effect of that is that I think it c cuts to the, the wrong tees. But able to get a birdie on this first hole here. Let's jump to hole six. One of the holes I despise. Can we get better luck on this? A lot of the holes that we showed in the first one through, I'm going to show here as well, uh, seeing the improvement after another attempt here. 22 mile per hour wind going down to the left, which is actually beneficial to us to not overshoot it. Get closer on the second putt, and then this one right here for par. Hole 14 now, 566 yards. Again, we, this is not good for us and our lack of distance. Seven mile per hour wind going away from the hole is not good. Par five in this situation as well. Uh, it's 456, I think the, the, the pin is like a straight line shot but the actual course length is like the full course length if you were to like walk it, which you can't do. I don't know how Ella teleports from one side of the area to the other, unless they like go around the country, but uh, sure, why not? This is a tough shot here, a third stroke. I'm right behind one of these giant things. I have forgotten their names off the top of my head, so uh, we're just gonna call them creepy crawlers. And I'm gonna have to do what I can't normally do, which is line up the golf ball emote and get the power perfect. Somehow I'm able to do that getting a great shot here and then able to get the birdie stroke as opposed to the bogey I think we got on the first run through. A psych, I still mess things up, go for par instead, still save a stroke. Uh, we're now two up at that point, we jumped to hole 16. Par four is 475 yards to go in a straight line shot, 11 mile per hour wind going backwards. I've got more power shots in the second run through, just more accurate with the power shots that I've used previously. You can see the final score on the bottom right hand side of the screen. Uh, the second, sh first shot is good distance, second shot is because we have the power I can get to this area, meaning the third stroke can be used right here to get right next to the pin, as we do so here, a little overshooting it, but not too out of the question, and then a 14 foot putt uphill to get the par, there's the stroke, there's the play, bingo, and now we're three strokes up with two holes to go, we are in safe zone, not secure zone, so we can't be overconfident yet. And the 20 mile per hour wind going backwards doesn't help us. I'm trying to go for the star. I miss it on both attempts. I think that moves it a little bit closer into the right, if I remember correctly, uh, which would have helped, but in our case, it's not going to. Second stroke just to get a little bit closer. Third stroke to get near the hole here. Purposely just gonna overshoot it and then let the backspin come and take me from there as we do so right there. Moving over for the par putt. Gotta go a little bit uh, sideways, but I'm able to do so. We're gonna have three strokes up with one hole to go. Mario can and will and is definitely possible uh, for the game to just magically give Mario two strokes. So we got to make sure we hit at least par on this hole in order to feel confident about things. First stroke, perfect play there. Second one, aiming for the star at first and then deciding maybe getting closer to the pin would be better. Try to take advantage of the wind uh, going 18 miles per hour to the top right. I'm going to aim for the mushroom and hope the wind carries me over to the right. Look at that right there just as we planned, though I do land in the bunkers and not quite perfect. Then we go over here, third stroke. We got to get right next to it so we can get a good shot here. The backspin puts us right nearby, exactly what we need. We've got two shots to get at least par and move a little bit to the right, get it in for birdie just to add to the benefits there. Mario goes for par and we win the mushroom tourney that I just realized the image is cutting off, but I'm not going to change it. Instead, I'll comment about it for whatever reason. Win by four strokes. There's a, score, a scoring chart right there. And the mushroom tourney is completed, meaning we have officially defeated all of the singles accomplishments that can be done. Neil, congratulations on the free experience. Ella, uh, you got one more thing to do, uh, which is the doubles tournament. But we can show off this little segment right here. It's an opportunity to add a trophy. There we go. This trophy uh, might be my favorite of the singles trophy. It might be my favorite out of all of them. It's either this one or the doubles one. They purposely go above and beyond. 
Um, there would be a credit sequence there, but since we've got one more thing to do, let's go do that. Grab Neil, drag him over to the clubhouse. Hey, look at this orb. There's a mushroom inside that tells us to go to a magical kingdom. Are you willing to accept? And Neil's like, sure, why not? It's not the weirdest thing I've seen all day. I've seen very odd things, and I'm going to uh, point out the various different creatures that are around all the, the clubhouses that I didn't visit, but uh, they offer cool benefits, you know, the power-up boosts and clubs and stuff like that. Uh, that you would normally take advantage of, but I did not. Now, Devil's Tournament here, Peach is like, hey, we're ready for this uh, course. Bowser complains, Mario yells at him. They have a little stare-down situation here. Peach somehow is able to persuade Bowser and Mario not to create a brand new game at that particular moment. And now, it's Doubles Cup time in this same course. Same situation as last time. We're gonna show the first hole, the last hole, and a couple of interesting ones. There's a lot of them. First one here, unsurprising. It's the same one that we've been going through. In fact, a lot of the holes I'll show, because I like torturing myself, I'm gonna be showing off a lot of the same holes that we've done previously. First shot there, right on the fringe. It's somehow a best drive. Second shot by Neil, putts it in. If you ask the AI to putt, if you ask Neil to putt, they'll do great. Let's jump to hole number six. Now our situation here, 22 mile per hour wind. This would go into the out of bounds, so I gotta be very careful about this, because it's water on one side, out of bounds on the other. Gotta be real careful about this shot. The backspin onto the green on the fringe. Let's go see what Neil can do here. This is a little outside of his zone. You know what, fair play, we'll stick it for par. In this tournament, I don't show all of it, but I will show some of it. In this tournament, the AI, Neil, uh, sometimes God tier, Tiger Woods. Other times, it's me if I didn't have clubs. Exhibit A being right there. I don't, I don't know what that was on this on on this particular hole. He decided, you know what? I'm just not gonna hit it as hard as I can. Cause why would that work? I don't help the cause by deciding to go down uh, and do a little like, uh, what, what am I thinking of? A little um, what's the thing? Beyblade example there. Neil tries to get us out of the situation, going into the rough. I go try to high point it, do a little bit of chipping damage. Um, close, but no cigar gonna have to go for the bogey on this one uh, as we do right there you can see again the score on the bottom right hand side of the screen uh, 16 mile per hour wind on this one hole 10 of 428 fast track here that has frequently in previous playthroughs thrown me straight into the fire which unsurprisingly would be an out of bounds situation Neil's second shot it's a good one this is one of the ones I gotta I gotta give props for this is perfectly played power is good locations good easy birdie shot here for me which is great us as we add on to our total here we're now tied for first and a minus one these are holes and courses that we're not going to have giant totals uh hole number 12 here we go into the little volcano thus moving the actual location of the hole itself uh which is fun you know fun fact actually you the volcano thing can happen twice on this hole uh i guess if you timed it right or wanted to do it for whatever reason neil's second shot or our second shot from neil's shot there is on the fairway we go from here, try a little chip in. You know we still got it. You know we still got it. And then that puts us at minus two. Mario and Luigi are at par. We go to hole 14 now, a par five. Same one we've shown previously. 22 mile per hour wind going north actually helps us in this case, though I do land in the bunker. Neil, please go for the distance. He's got the distance. He decides not to go for the distance, thus basically wasting a stroke. And I've got to do some maneuvering on this one to try to find a way to make sure we can pick up the, the range, you know, the, the distance that we would have gotten as a person that has no range. Somehow I'm able to do it. Fourth shot here, it does try to take advantage of the wind to go a little bit higher. Uh, lands basically right outside the fringe. I'm just going to brute force putt it, and I'm very close, not able to get fully all the way there, and we settle for a bogey on this one. We're at minus two. They are, however, at plus one. Let's go over to hole 16 now. Another one of the famed holes that I absolutely enjoy with all sarcasm included. First shot, great shot right there. Neil, this is one of the good ones. This is a good shot here. Neil, perfectly placed. Yeah, you, you thought I was, I was serious, didn't you? Nope, he decides to water hazard. And I'm thinking to myself, this is it. This is where the AI, they've been nice to me this entire challenge. This is where they're deciding to say, nah, we're going to let you do this challenge for longer. I got to just take try something there unable to do so next shot here right by the hole it's one of those teasing moments we have to settle for a double bogey meaning we are getting closer to everybody else in the pack hole 17 here look at this look at this interesting play 
not bad, not good, but we gotta go full power. Luckily, we had the power, otherwise this wouldn't have worked. I think we miss it by a, you know, a, by a hair, but I'm able to bounce over it. Get over here. Come on, Neil. You can do it. Bam. Get the birdie. Pick up one of the strokes we missed up on. We are at four strokes ahead, but the AI can and will throw you in the out of bounds if it feels like it. So we got, we cannot, we can't take any, you know, if it's us completely under control, maybe we'll have a shot. We need to be careful with this. First stroke is a good stroke right there. Full damage. Neil decides, there you go. AI doing AI thing. Let's go backwards. Not forwards, where the hole is. Let's go backwards. Yep. Uh, 13 mile per hour wind is not helping our case as well. I decide to auto power shot it. Just kind of cross my fingers at this point and am successful, though this goes through the trees. This is where Neil is like, nah, let me be goaded at this, get by the tree, still keep us in the rough. We've got the strokes to, to work with here, so I just try to get closer to the hole, stay in this like nice zone right there. Neil puts it in, we take the bogey loss, but are successful, the only team to be under par, first place for us. And now, this is the official end of the challenge. Can you beat Mario Golf Tour, Advanced Tour, as a level one character? You can, if the AI wants to be nice to you. Look at that trophy, that's a beautiful trophy there. Thank you so much everyone for listening, watching, and supporting the YouTube channel and this mini-series gameplay thing in any way, shape, or form that you do. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things you ought to do in supporting a YouTube channel. I'm going to leave you with the credits, and then later on you can check out all of the different like stats and stuff like that. The music will play. It'll be great. Thanks again, everyone. If you want to check out other videos on the channel, you can do so. Again, got a bunch of other Pokemon challenges. There's a Pokemon Violet playthrough that I'm hoping to get done before the DLC comes out, but I'm very bad at uploading, as you can probably tell, so you can check all that out. Check out the people that made this game right here, and until next time, take care.